We are on our way to the awards gala. The judges deliberated this morning to decide who the winners will be. A winner has to have the magic combination of all three things. Creativity in their design, a strong business, and a lot of tenacity as a person. Who did you think looked good on the runway? Sterling and uh, Creo. It was impressive from the start. How big can a business like that get, Andrew, the glasses? Could be huge. He has a lot. Most of his business is his own retail, too, right? Rochambeau uh, looked great. Rochambeau, I mean, they have a huge following, too, everywhere they go. They seem to attract. I feel like Newbuck is, is very of the moment. And Brock, Jeffrey? I think they have a clear vision. I think they're the best right. women's wear sort of designer yes, we've had we in a while. Yes, and we haven't had one in a long time. Uh, I so. think it's definitely there. I feel like the line is quite narrow. It's quite prairie and, girl. Yeah. Right? yeah. So I started wondering whether Crew is the number one, because is, it, is he the, the most original in terms of design and has the best balance of art and commerce? So there's one winner that wins $400,000 and a mentor, and then there are two runners-up, and each of them also gets a mentor and $150,000. I've been really impressed with Adam. I think he's been consistently good in every challenge. I think he's brought his personality, his point of view. Uh, Adam is great, but there's a long way to believe that he could have a business. Andrew, are you saying you're worried he'd go out of business? There's way more than just a design element that it requires to have a successful business. He needs a mentor for sure. He could really do with help. Some of the mentors in the past have been Tori Birch, Michael Kors, Diane von Furstenberg herself. I uh, know, I like Stamped a lot just because I think you look five years from now, he's going to have a big business. Adam is much more um, talented. I like Stamped a lot. Well, it's very creative that he's been able to break through a very crowded segment of the industry. But you think he has the abil ability to succeed over Adam? Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. For sure. Then they cast secret ballots. Each one has their own vote. And then the winner is tallied up. So they don't even all know who's won. But we will find out tonight after dinner. Right. Good to go. Here OK, about. great. Yeah. Thank you all. See you tonight. See you tonight. See you tonight. <laughs> We are at Spring Studios. The red carpet is happening behind me. Everybody's arriving, all the designers with their dates, all the past designers. Tons of oh yeah, it's definitely sure. family. The fashion fund means so much to the fashion community. The whole fashion community, I think, has their eyes on who's winning, who's done a great job, because everybody else out there is looking for the next big talent, just like we are, just like the CFDA is. Olivia Munn is here, Haley Baldwin is coming, the fashion establishment comes out. Are you guys excited? Yes. Good. It's a really good crew. It's the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. A little nervous. It's been an intense day. I'm freaking out. Okay. I'm actually freaking out. I feel good. Amazing. Try not to think about it. It's a beautiful night. It's really incredibly well attended. There's a lot of love in the room with all the past finalists. This is, I, in my opinion, one of the biggest nights in New York fashion. So, welcome to the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund. Being in the fund is like being part of an extended family, and family are always there for one another. That's why it is so wonderful to see so many past winners and finalists with us this evening. Now, Diane and I would like to ask the finalists to please stand so you can all be recognized. Please remember, you are all winners. Tonight is very special for anyone who loves family and, and fashion. You know, fashion, fashion is powerful because of the way it can make you feel. It's emotional. And the best designers know that. Please help me welcome our keynote speaker and a very, very dear friend of mine, Mr. Michael Kors. When I was sitting where you are now, I truly never could have imagined the twists and the turns that my career would take. One day I was leaving work and I was wearing an army jacket, cowboy boots, and an army hat emblazoned with rhinestone brooches. I got to the corner and I saw a chocolate brown Rolls Royce Corniche. And who would be sitting in the back seat? Annie Hall herself. Diane Keaton with Woody Allen. I almost passed out on the spot. <laughs> Diane looked at me and in her inimitable way, she said, oh my God, I love your hat. And I said, oh, thank you. And I got on the subway and I thought to myself, if Diane Keaton likes how I look, I must be doing something right. But no matter what, I have to tell you, never lose touch with your customer, 
Never stop trying new things and always stay curious. And if you think that this is a job, you're in the wrong industry. It's not a job, it's a life. And now Zendaya, if you'll come and join me on the stage, we can announce tonight's 2016 CFDA Fashion Fund winners. All right, everyone. The runners up are Adam Selman. Okay, I just want to thank you all, CFDA, for so nice to have you a part of my community as well. So thank you. Next runner up, Crew Duoptic. From a girl who loves fabulous glasses. Um, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> who would have thought New Orleans eyewear, huh? Um, I'm so proud. Thank you to the selection committee and Anna and Jenna and everybody, the whole committee, um, for putting us a huge step closer to that goal today. Uh, thank you all so much. <laughs> The winner of the 2016 CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund is... Brock, Brock Collection. Collection. In 2011, a student at Parsons dropped out of a class three weeks after the semester started, um, which allowed me on the wait list to take a seat in the class um, where I was able to meet my beautiful future wife. Um, so I'd like to thank Laura for being such an incredible mother to our child and perfect best friend. <laughs> so thank you so much. Without the drive, passion, talent, integrity, and dedication that Chris has to his work, has to our work, has to every aspect of life, um, we wouldn't be here. So, thank you. Um, thank you guys so much, everyone else for being here. Thank you. I think this event means a huge deal to Anna. I think it's safe to say she's very proud of the night, and I think everyone who works on it is really happy that it's become as big of a deal to the fashion community as it is to us. The future is bright for Adam Selman. It's always been bright for Adam Selman. I'm fucking stoked. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Which is hard to do. We're in shock. We're in shock right now.